hello everyone welcome to another video tutorial in this uh, video tutorial we are going to describe about the progressivity of the dna polymerase this is one of the vital topic for dna polymerase because in order to replicate dna dna polymerase must be highly progressive so let let us understand what is progressivity so dna polymerases are a highly progressive enzyme by the term progressivity means how many nucleotides that the dna polymerase can be added after it has bound to the particular primer template junction so this is the definition of progressivity it is the average number of nucleotide added each time the enzyme that means the dna polymerase binds to the particular primer template junction so say this is the structure of the dna polymerase and it can bind to the particular primer template junction this particular strand this particular strand is the uh, template dna strand and that strand is the primer strand you can see the green colored uh, portion is the actually the primer strand and this is the template dna strand so the dna polymerase can recognize the particular primer template junction and they can add uh, new dntp to the a three prime end of the primer they are be extending uh, the dna synthesis okay so progressivity means how many nucleotides a dna polymerase can add during dna replication for example if we compare if we compare between two different dna polymerases say this is the template dna strand this uh, topmost dna is the template dna strand and the green color portion is the primer dna so primer uh, primer dna primer basically in case of e coli cell primer is basically rna whatever the rna or the pri uh, the primer has the three prime exposed oh group so the dna polymerase can recognize the particular primer template junction in the left side picture it is a non processive dna polymerase and in the right one it is a processive dna polymerase so how can we distinguish between the two processive non processive processive enzyme for example in this case the non progressive enzyme upon recognizing the primer template junction can add, can add only few nucleotides for example what can we see here the dna polymerase upon binding added only one dntp and after that it has been dissociated that means it is not able to add many nucleotides so that means it is a non progressive enzyme so non progressive means upon binding to the particular primer template junction within a very short period of time they will be dissociated so they will not be they they are not able to add many dntp to the growing dna strand so that is why they becomes non progressive to become a non progressive enzyme they will definitely add a between 20 to 100 nucleotide maximally so by the time they have been they are they have been they are uh, they are uh, adding 2200 nucleotides in the growing dna strand they will be dissociated and therefore cannot extend dna synthesis for a long period of time but in the in the in the right side uh, figure you can see the processive dna polymerase because if it is a processive dna polymerase they can add many dntp simultaneously many thousands of nucleotides that can be added after they can recognize the particular primer template junction so the dna polymerase upon binding added many dntps before it has been dissociated so that is the reason by comparing the two different dna polymerases the left one dna polymerase has has added only only single nucleotide or mainly actually it is between 20 to 100 nucleotide long and the, the right one dna polymerase which is a highly progressive enzyme that can add many thousands of nucleotides simultaneously okay so Uh, the good example of a high processive enzyme is uh, dna polymerase 3 in case of prokaryotic cell like e coli cell and a good example of non processive enzyme non processive dna polymerase is dna polymerase 1 again present in the e coli cell so uh, why this particular left side dna polymerase that is the dna polymerase 1 is not processive and the right one that is dna polymerase 3 hollow enzyme is processive this processivity is totally depend upon how uh, this dna polymerase uh, can slide the primer template junction upon binding how frequently they can slide more the sliding along the dna primer template junction the more is the progressivity so that means if a dna polymerase is not able to slide through the primer template junction they will be non progressive and for this they require an additional component called the sliding dna clamp so what is the role of the sliding dna clamp uh, to increase the progressivity of the dna polymerase we will be discuss in the next video hope 
you you have understand what is the progressivity of the dna polymerase thank you